it's Jody. Today's video we are going to be painting with the paints that I mixed up in the last video uh, towards the end after we mixed up the two pouring mediums that we've been testing out the last uh, number of videos. I mixed up some paints with the high gloss and I really want to take them for a spin. I'm excited to see what that combo does. So we're going to do a bloom and we're going to do a swipe today. So let's go get started having some fun with that. All right, before we get started, let's take a look at our paints. Um, I showed you in the last video the paints that we mixed up, what the consistency was, and I was going to let them rest. I, I was, <laughs> was going to paint yesterday, but then I wasn't able to, so they've been resting for two days instead of one day. And you don't have to let your paints rest that long. <clears throat> you know, if, if you want to paint the same day, you know, I'd, I'd let them rest at least an hour or two. This... Uh, Ball Spar doesn't hold bubbles uh, as much as some other pouring media mixes I have used. So that's a good thing. So if you remember, the tube paint we used was the Josonia Black Umber. And this is the consistency of it. Now, didn't really change. Still has a nice nice consistency traces maybe about two seconds the fluid paint the golden fluid quinacridone violet maybe uh, thickened up a hair but again a nice consistency leaving a trace for about one and a half two seconds I'm not, I, I don't feel like I need to thicken any of these up. We're just going to roll with them. And then the Comet, the uh, this little piggy pigment, I feel like this thickened up just a hair or two. <laughs> Again, it leaves a trace for about a second and a half, two seconds. So, I mean, it's pretty comparable to the fluid. I, I Overall, they're... Uh, they're good really good consistency so i'm just gonna we're gonna roll with them and another thing about your consistencies and i'm talking about if you have a a thicker pouring medium or a thinner one if you if if for some reason you mix up your uh your base paint and your varnish and your pouring medium is on the thicker side i mean it, if it still flows nicely that's okay but you might want to consider using fluids like fluid paints or, um, or an, and or pigments and forego tube paints unless they're soft body just because it'll be easier to mix up you know when you when you put when you throw a tube paint in sometimes if it's if it's you know a medium or a hard body it gets it gets harder to mix in and it could thicken up your already thick pouring medium so I just wanted to throw that in <laughs> really quick all right now on to the painting we we're going to do a bloom first and I have smaller substrates today only because I didn't mix up a lot of paint, you know, when, when we mixed it up in the last video. I just want to make sure I have enough paint for uh, for both pieces, so I didn't want to do anything overly big. So we're going to do, this is an 8x7 hexagon. I get these at uh, Hobby Lobby, and I have added some pillow paint to secure it. So today's pillow paint, I've got the eggshell this time, <laughs> the Glidden Premium in eggshell, which is slightly thicker than the satin. And as you know, I usually go in between both of them just because I love both of them. But sometimes it's cooler down here in my studio or it's warmer and I just need to go between a thicker and, and a slightly thinner pillow. All right. So the first one I'm going to put down, I, oop, you know what? I don't want to put that down first. Change my mind at the last second. I want to put the black umber down first. I'm going to put a healthy amount down, but I want to save enough. We're going to do a swipe next. We'll see how this combo goes together. I think I can get away with just a little bit more. I wanted to have a nice surface for the, uh, uh, I wanted the darker color here for the interference to play with because, um, Interference colors tend to, I mean, they look different on white as opposed to black, but you can see them a bit more on uh, on darker surfaces. So 
that's where my mind is at. So this is the Comet. It's the Interference uh, Red. I think that's plenty. And then finally, we're going to put the Golden Fluid, the Quinacridone Violet. And we're just going to kind of spread it around. And I think... I think I'm going to use the white cell activator with this. All right, I've got the white white cell activator we're going to use for this bloom. And here's how that's mixed. Oops. <laughs> I forgot to put my camera down. This is uh, mixed four to one. It's the Australian Floetrol with the Amsterdam Titanium White. All right. looks pretty good that blew out nicely I'm gonna let that come back up all right let's just do some little fun things in here That was a big swirl. <laughs> I didn't know where that came from, but I just went with it. I didn't like what was going on right there, so I wanted to enhance it with a cute little swirl. Got plenty of paint on here. All right, I think we're good. I will meet you over at the spinner box and we will see how this spins out. All right, here's what this one looks like before we spin it out. And I didn't add any more pillow around the edges. There was plenty. I just kind of moved it out a little bit with my stick. So let's just spin this slow and see how it goes. <laughs> wow. Jeez. That interference in there. And when you see it up close, you'll know what I mean. But gosh, oh gosh. All right, I'm gonna go this way. Yowza. This is gorgeous. I need to get a little bit more paint off. It's moving just a little bit. I think I'm gonna bring it down this way just a little. And one more spin. I think we're just about there. Mm, baby spin. A little bit too much movement for my liking. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Whew. It's almost dark and sultry. <laughs> Yep, dark and sultry is what I'm calling this one. And when you see it up close, you, you'll see why because of the, the sparkles that are in it. Whoa. There's what that one looks like. All right. This next piece, we're going to do a swipe. And again, it's a smaller substrate. This is a six by eight. I wanted to show you. These are the edge canvases that you get at Jerry's Artorama and you can buy them singly or in a six pack. It's cheaper in a six pack and they have all range of 
sizes as well. They have a few different depths. This is more of your standard depth, but then they also have one inch, one and a half, and I think two or two and a half inch. But they use, a lot of times they have super sales on the six packs. So they're, I mean, and they're well made. They're, um, you can't see it, but it's not the staple back. It's the gallery wrapped. So I just wanted to show off the, my new find. We're going to use the same pillow, the Glidden Premium and the Eggshell. I'm going to try and not put too much on and just spread it out because we're going to be putting a lot of uh, paint color on. And we're going to be swiping. I'll show you the tool we're going to use. I'm going, I'm going back to uh, putting the colors on on the pillow as opposed to the palette knife just for today because I was playing around yesterday and I forgot how much I <laughs> I like to do in that kind of swipe too so that looks good but I'm gonna use this swipe tool I'm not even gonna put the cell activator on there I'm gonna put everything on here and we're just gonna swipe on both sides really quick and see what we come up with sometimes those come up with some really neat looking swipes and same colors same order i'm gonna put down the black umber first hopefully i have enough just enough and this is why i didn't use bigger canvases <laughs> i had a feeling i wasn't gonna have enough paint my hunch was correct um, all right, and then the interference red, the comet. And then the quinacridone violet. All right. middle just a little. I'm not worried about the edges. And I thought I was going to do a uh, both a black and a white cell activator, but I really liked what the white cell activator did with the last uh, piece we just did. So I'm going to stick with the white cell activator and swipe that way and see how it goes. So I'm going to put a healthy amount on and we're going to swipe fast because it's gonna sink fast. Oh, come on now. When in doubt, blow it out. <laughs> Sorry if my head's in the way. That's better. Well, we've got a mix. We've got a swipe mix and some really crazy looking cells in there too. Crazy awesome looking cells. Do I want to go in there with my... I love getting those little microscopic cells. All right, we're good with that. And I don't feel like I need to do anything with it. No mods, no modifications. I just got a little white spot right there I'm gonna get. We are going to take this over to the spinner box. I might put a little bit of pillow paint just right here um, to get it to flow a little bit better. But I will meet you over at the spinner box and we will see what comes of it. Ooh, really nice uh, shimmers in there. Here's what that looks like before we spin it out. And I'm just going to 
there we go. I'm just gonna spin slowly and maybe move and adjust it as we go. Come this way just a little. This way. Slowly. Take that side off a little and then I'm going to swing it back. Could do the same on the other side. And then I'll swing it back. All right, I think that's good. And I need to spin, I need to get some more paint off. So we're probably gonna lose a lot of this, which I didn't want, but that is, sometimes that happens, especially when you have a smaller, smaller canvas, but the middle just looks so cool. I don't even care. <laughs> It's not moving that much. I just want to move it over. I want to get this white bit off here, just at least going down the side, and then I'm going to swing it back. And I think we're just about there. And this is so cool. And and the the shimmer on it, you can't really see it. I think from your angle, but when I show you the flyover. Oh, wow. Holy cow, this is so cool. And I love these little, these little ones that, that hung on. Just the coolest. I'm not sure about that right there, but I can totally live with it. I might, no, I'm not gonna mess with it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave it be. I think we got enough paint off. That is just the coolest swipe I've ever seen <laughs> with the blowout in the middle. <laughs> we lost a lot of the swipe, but I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover, both these guys. All right, here's the flyover of this one. I mean, look at what that interference red did. It just, it, it, it looks different on the black and then the white. It kind of gives you more of a pink with the white and on the, with the black, it gives you more and the magenta. It's more of a darker red. I mean, it's just, whew. <laughs> these cells just exploded. This is the Valspar. Love. Oh, I love that right there where it's just the black umber and then that interference, that red is just gorgeous. which is why I've dubbed it dark and sultry. <laughs> Here's the flyover, but I wanted to show you the side. I mean, it just looks so cool with the, with the veins sticking down there. But here's the flyover. Again, that, that interference red mixed with the, uh, the violet. And then when it's on the black or the white, just takes on these. This looks like almost a leopard print and these crazy, blowouts I did combined with what's left of the swipe. Um, I've never done anything like this before. This has got to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. <laughs> so I'm, I'm super excited to see both of these dried. I will be back once they are dried to show you the results. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the pieces you saw me do and they dried beautifully for the most part. I did have a, a couple of issues that I want to that I want to point out. The, um, here is the the hexagon. I mean, they just dried. This one just dried just gorgeous. I did have a little bit of cell issue right right in here. And I was thinking, I was like, okay, did, were my, because something like this, when your cells start to move or slip, it's either you've got too much paint on, which I am totally guilty of, or your consistencies are off. Maybe your cell activator is a bit too thin or, 
you know, your, your color paints might be a bit thinner. And so I was questioning myself, well, maybe, I, maybe my, I should have thickened up those paints a little bit, but all the rest of this was really nice. So I, I'm thinking it might've been attributed to, uh, the cell activator. It did seem a little bit thin to me. It is getting a little bit warmer in here. So I'm probably going to have to thicken that up, but other than that, it just dried just gorgeous. I love this right here. And this, it just kind of adds a little bit of dimension and that, that sparkle from the interference red just kind of peeks through in there. But I, <laughs> I was right when I called it dark and sultry. <laughs> it just looks like it. Now the second piece I had issues with, um, I think the cell activator was definitely too thin, but I also know I left, I left more paint on this one because I didn't want to move it anymore. I didn't want to lose all of this. And when I bring it in, I'll show you what happened, but here it is as a whole. And you can kind of see how the, that, uh, comet comes through. But as I bring you in, you can kind of see where your cells get a little bit wiggly and it, That'll definitely happen if you have uh, too much paint on your surface because it's still trying, it, you know, as, as it's sitting there, it'll still t start to shift and move if you don't take enough paint off. But also if your cell activator is too thin and it's still sinking, it's going to take, it's going to take the, the paint with it. So I, I feel like it was my cell activator and what I'm usually guilty of is leaving too much paint on. So I, I, so I, I'm kind of glad this happened so I can point it out to you that, you know, it's something like this will, will happen with, with any pouring medium, no matter the magic combo that I can find. I mean, obviously, you know, all this, these cells, that is the magic combo, but with any pouring medium, you're going to run into something like this. If your consistencies are off or if you've left too much paint on, you're still going to get issues like this, even with the perfect pouring medium. So <laughs> just another tip. So, but overall, I mean, I, 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 I love it. It's so chaotically awesome. I don't, I, I'm, I think I like this orientation, but it's just, it's almost a bit of magenta madness. And then I had a little bit of uh, paint left over, and so I did. Uh, I did a cute little baby one off camera. I like to get these little uh, deep-sided canvases from Michaels. They come in a pack of nine, and Michaels recently had a buy one get two free off of all of their canvases. So I was able to get three of these packs. But yeah, I just had a little little trouble right in there, but everything else just dried beautifully. So. So this concludes the mini series with the Valspar Ultra, the high gloss and the semi gloss uh, tests. And I am definitely going to continue using this pouring medium base. I, I absolutely love it. I, I love the, I still love the infinity. I think it's pretty much on par, but it's almost half the price. I did go to Lowe's earlier today and I bought a, a gallon of the Valspar Ultra, the high gloss, the base C, and it was, it was $32 at my lows, my lows in the Chicago area. I know certain parts of the country, it could be a little bit more expensive or a little or cheaper. It just, it just depends. I think somebody told me in Flo in Florida at their lows, it was like $28. So I think it just depends. But so that's, I, uh, for a gallon, I mean, that's going to last you a while. So I hope you've enjoyed this little mini series half as much as I enjoyed putting it together. I, you know, you know me and testing. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried this combo yet? Or do you use the Valspar Ultra, either the high gloss or the semi gloss with a different varnish and it works well for you? I would love to hear all your thoughts on it. So with that, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.